If I take a girl to Dairy Queen, she's getting two toppings, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Oh, it's breaking the rules. Is like 70 days away. Is it really? My producer's yelling at me. Go out, I will always go out. And I won't end. Great for kids and fun for adults. Welcome to Dewey Roll. I am Todd, your host at the biggest little party town in all of America. I'm here with Maddie. Maddie, how are you? I'm good. How are you today? Hey, we have two microphones. I love this. It's kind of fun. This is fun. Um, opening weekend at the Starboard, we uh, documented yesterday. Yes, and the hurricane that came in of people. It was ridiculous, as usual. It was actually on St. Patrick's Day. Not like people don't know this, but... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> But they it was St. Uh, Patty's Day, in case you didn't Saint, know. St. Patty's Day. Um, give us your recap. Um, it was very interesting to see the storm of people. I was here first thing in the morning. Uh, it was very empty. And then, just like a giant hurricane, the eye came in and everybody was here. Yep. And you could just begin to see, you know, everyone's going uphill and the right. climax and everyone's going down. So when is the witching hour? What time was the witching hour? I believe the witching hour, I would say anytime around three o'clock. After three, I feel like that's when flies started to drop. It's a, it's a long witching hour because yeah. some people were here at, well, you were here filming at what, like nine o'clock in the morning? Yes. All day drinking. I was, and I was all day napping. Yeah, during good, my job. Breaks. good job. I was very proud of myself on that one. So we're gonna try to do. Uh, we're gonna. This is the launch of season three, episode number thirty-six. Yes. Wow. Uh, Dewey Raw. Yeah. Right. That's pretty big news. And uh, we'd like to thank our sponsor for today's show, Grand Marnier, for the floaters. Uh, we are looking for uh, any sponsors who'd like to be part of our show. Please sponsor me Miller Lite. That's all I want. Uh, I think we're going to go local sponsor like Dogfish. We could do Dogfish, but or, also I love Miller Lite. Or Big, big, big oyster. oyster. Big Oyster. Dang, I like your beer. Dang. And that's one of your beers. Get what I did there? Hey, uh, we did a little video that actually ended up doing very well. It's called Don't Be That Guy. Yes, our PSA. And, uh, and last night... Do we think it worked? Did the uh, customer training work? I think it did it decently until everyone started going downhill. I had nobody try to lick the camera. I didn't get tackled. That's I didn't get yelled at for videoing because you know when people are like, picture, and then like, uh. Yeah. But I think you guys did pretty well, so shout out to you guys. Really got to stop flicking my fingers. Shout out to all the people. Double guns to all the people who were not that guy. Way to go, guys. You did it. Uh, maybe what we'll do is we'll send you out, and uh, we'll get a little crowd survey. And, of how uh, they did and, last and maybe, night? Yeah, no, and maybe we'll see how the uh, Don't Be That Guy worked out from from the uh, Sunday crowd perspective. From the Sunday crowd perspective, maybe we'll check out the staff's perspective yes. of how... That worked out well, but right. and uh, it's official. Uh, the starboard is open. Starboard summer is, open. is like seventy days away. Is it really? Yeah. For I reals. can't wait. Now Memorial Day weekend. But also remember, just because we put "Don't be that guy" for opening weekend, don't be that guy the entire summer season. Right. Right. So send us your "Don't be that guy" stories. And uh, maybe we'll read a few on air. Because just wait, we have plenty of blackmail on you guys if you ever try to be that guy. Yeah, that's and true. your CEO is going to really regret it. Yes. I'm talking to you, teachers. Are we rolling? So, for the official staff interview, we have uh, Todd, who's fresh off of spring break. Yeah, we uh, had a little four month trip. <laughs> That's what you want to call a string break? Yeah. A little four-month break. Yeah, you know. Uh, My producer's yelling at me. We've always... Uh, yeah, totally. I kind of like it. It's, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to 
lot. Um, we always post up at the end of years in Alex and Justin's bar, and uh, last year, or last couple of years have been fantastic. I will say that it seems that this weekend was much more uh, busy. There was a line around the the block. It was packed from 9 a.m. to 1 a.m. What's your assessment? Yeah, I think it was another great weekend. Um, busy. I think the line was helped. You know, we weren't packed, overly packed. But it was a nice, comfortable, fun, good crowd, good people. So, made some money. Had a lot of good times. Al banged a dude. How tired are you? Um, a little sore. Pretty tired. You know? I bought those. Do you, do you mind Alex doing all your work? Alex! Now he dresses me. We call him Daddy. His outfits were really cute, weren't they? You guys do kind of have hands down the best uh, quaffs and and ensembles. Um, look at him. He's gorgeous. Mr. DC right there brings a little DC flair to the starboard. So what does it mean to bring DC flair to the starboard? No comment. Uh... How was your uh, How was your game day? No, everything. It was an awesome weekend. Uh, always fun coming to the Starboard work with these guys. Uh, the DC loop is a little bit more serious than the uh, the Starboard crew. Like we're not finding some of the things we find in the Starboard in DC. That's for sure. Maybe we need some some of that. We we need some of the Starboard uh, carefreeness to translate over to the DC crowd. Or no. No, I was more talking about the spent condom that we found on Friday underneath of our trash can. Uh, so we don't need that in D.C., but yeah, the energy would be nice to have, um, but not the spent condoms. That was it's too much. We have a picture of it, actually. We named it um, Floppy. We think Brady may have ate it, eaten it, dined on it, but it was gnarly. It was definitely used. It was a good gig, though. She, she was pretending to put makeup on. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. And I'm not lying about the spent condom. We did find the spent condom. I thought she was fixing her hair. No. <laughs> she was against the bottom. <laughs> oh, do we have pictures? Yeah, that's my dad. More impressed would be the guy who had the intelligence to put on a rubber somehow. Hey, it's like if, you're, if you're gonna have sex at the bar, still use protection. Yeah, and maybe throw your condom away so we don't have to. Right. Like, we don't mind. Take Fuck care. all you want. Just take care of it yourself. Put it, wrap it in a napkin, do your duty, and your responsibility. Don't be that guy. Send us on the, are you listening to me right now? No, she's not. She can hear you. Hello, laddies. Are you ready for madness on the street? Was that pretty good? Right. Hey. She was overserved yesterday. Who knows that? I was? Aren't you? No, she was not. Madness in the streets. Let's go. Um, who's a really good perspective? This man right here. Hey. Hey. Hi. I love your outfit. Thank you. What's your name? Ryan. Ryan. Ryan, how was St. Patty's Day weekend? Oh, it's been fantastic. It was good? Yeah, absolutely. I, I can't get over this outfit right now. These sunglasses are beautiful. Uh, so how did you do? Did I, clearly you survived. Yeah, we got here about one, left around six. Ooh, okay. We went, we went at a steady pace though. Right, because it's a marathon. It is not a sprint, guys. Remember okay. that. Right? Let's say it together. It's a, a marathon, marathon. Not a sprint. sprint. Right. I love it. I hope you enjoyed yourself though. Yeah, we had a great time. We're just going to have some, some lunch today and then we're heading back home. Oh, cool. So have you seen our um, PSA that we did for Don't Be That Guy? I did. I shared it. You did? Yeah. This is great. That's why you give a thumbs up or a peace sign. See? Do you think it helped that we did Don't Be That Guy before opening weekend? Yeah, but there's always going to be that guy. Ah, that's it. There will always be that guy. Thank you, that guy. All right. Well, you have fun. Cheers. Cheers. Happy opening weekend. Happy opening weekend. <laughs> always breaking the rules. How do you think opening weekend went? Um, I think it was crazy. I think that St. Patty's Day falling on a Saturday was probably 
the worst and the best thing that could ever happen in Dewey Beach ever. How do you think the PSA for Don't Be That Guy went? Did it help? It went very well. I uh, I get a lot of people recognizing me, so you're famous so now. I walk up to the table. They're like, "Don't be that guy." Apparently, some guy said he got T-shirts made and everything that said, "Don't be that guy." So so it worked. It went well. It worked. It went well, and you know what? I feel like everybody is not being that guy. There we go. Yeah. Awesome guys, way to go. Bye. Opening week was freaking tremendous. tremendous. Everybody was here. Everybody. Police were here. Everybody was here. Anybody that counted was here. How do you think that "Don't be that guy" PSA did it work? Don't be that guy right there. They got the camera, man. That fucking guy. <laughs> Come on, man, huh? Don't want to be that guy. Don't want to be that guy. We don't want to be that guy. Austin's gonna know what to do with his hands. Ever. He's just gonna stand like this the entire time. We might have to do a lesson about hands. What am I supposed to do? What are you supposed to do with your hands? He'll ever know what to do with his hands? Ever? I never will. You never will? How do you think the PSA, do you think it worked this weekend? No. I didn't take pictures, so. But, like, do you think that, like, people were just as raunchy or bad? Really? Yeah, you should have seen what we found on Friday night. Oh, I heard about the condom story. The people also heard about the condom story. Check out my Snapchat. There's a picture of Brady holding it. Guys, how was your opening weekend? We had a great time. Good. Did you guys see our PSA, Don't Be That Guy? You did? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think it worked? Yeah, because every time I see him, I'm like, I stay, like, you got to stay cool. You got to stay cool. Space. Just say hi. Do the waves. Finger guns. Peace sign. Good. I'm glad the water. So. Yeah, true. So we're clothed and we're not hung over. So good day. Cool. Guys, did you enjoy opening weekend? Oh, we had a really good time. Good. Enjoy you survived, clearly. You're walking. We're here today. Yeah. Do you know the number one rule for this weekend? Uh, don't be that guy. Yes. I'm pretty sure. Honestly. I follow you guys on Instagram. So. That's right. Like for like, follow for follow. How are you feeling today, Peter? Like a, like I got run over by about um, eight Mack trucks. F yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. Am I allowed to say that guy? You were just that guy. And last night I uh, went to Mama Maria's and he was like six bucks a slice, and I was like, for what? Is it plated in gold? He didn't like that. He was not. <laughs> They do not have golden pizza at Mama Maria's. <laughs> so, do you think our PSA of Don't Be That Guy worked out well? Actually, yeah, there was not that many that guys. Good work. We did it. We Making did it. Making it better one guy at a time. So remember, don't be that guy. Go out. I will always go out. And I will, yeah. Let's change roles here. I'll, I'll host and ask you a couple questions. Question number one, well, it's really more of an answer. Actually, why are you, why are you leaving? She wants it. It's Sunday at, I don't know what time it is, but she's trying to leave already, so. Um, I'm hungover, and I've spent probably 48 hours in this establishment since I arrived. It's not enough. Did that sound like a good reason to you? No. She said she wants to leave because she's hungover, and she's only spent 40 hours here this weekend. Uh, I feel like we need 50 hours, and you need a Bloody Mary. Or a bull shark. Oh, you won't do a bull shark. You won't. So you've got really no reason. We'll take what we can get. Here we go. Bye. An ender, okay. And, I can be uh, the ending. You could be the ending, I'm, but... I'm, I'm, I'm the best ending. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people would love to end with you. This is true. This is true. Sunday, good time day. Sunday, good time Sunday, day. Sunday, good time day. Also, okay. can we fun drink that? Look, can we fun drink that? Fun drink. And then you were like naming it over here, so I took it. And now you've just been doing nothing. We're not doing I don't think we're he doing wants nothing. The that was Stay alone. I'm so he sorry, Dad. He wants the listen, ender. listen, I'm disappointed. Oh, Elliot, she calls the fiver. I'm the I had a tenner. No, he's disappointed in you <laughs> because you're his partner and now look at me, I'm taking over your spot. Yeah, a partner in life. Alright, not just not just business. Okay. No, no. <laughs> see I'm the partner now. Well, I'm the captain now. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a captain. 
<laughs> He's right, this, is, crack for real. this is going a certain direction. Okay. Technically, she's the captain. She's got the positioning of it. Hey, you hold the you hold the drink, Alex. Oh, I hold the drink. Okay. Can I get in on this? Yeah. Or is this a lover's thing? Oh um, no, you can for sure. We need a third straw and a full drink. Can, yeah, can, can we get a full drink though? Slime. So right here, this is shamrock butter slime. Okay. So it has like a clay more texture, and then. Starbucks slime, so it's fluffy and it's tie dye. Very nice. <laughs> and uh, and what do you uh, what do you propose that people do with the slime? So um, slime is like a stress relieving kind of thing. Um, it um, you can just really play with it whenever you want. Um, it's really fun to play with, and um, kids love it. But it's also cool for adults too. It is cool for adults do you too. Like playing with the slime. Yeah. You know. I um, kind of dig this. I really want it, actually. You so, guys have Venmo? You so guys have Venmo? I, 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 think that, uh, I think that you guys have a, a tremendous uh, business model here. You've set up a great uh, a display for, with a lot, of, uh, a lot of store frontage for people to, to walk by. And um, how, has, how have sales been so far? Good, good. Sales are skyrocketing right now. Good. Sales are skyrocketing. Skyrocketing. <laughs> Skyrocketing. So uh, we picked up the we we, we picked up both, both the uh, the Starbird and the the Shamrock Butter. Yes. And then uh, now, do you have any other like what's your favorite slime recipe other than these two? Like adding stuff um, to it. We have um, so this is like this is butter slime. So it's more of like it's not actual butter, but it has a clay like texture. texture. Okay. But um, another cool one is cloud slime. It feels like a cloud. Oh, yeah. Oh, and great. so you add instant snow into it, and that will make it. Wow. So for all everybody watching at home, make sure you stop by the Starbird and pick up some Starbird slime. Or some for, shamrock. Or some shamrock to for a little stress reliever. <laughs> and, uh, you know, great for kids and fun for adults. adults. That's what we say about Dewey Raw. Yep. I feel like I need to take a shower now.